What's going on, family? It's an entertainer, motivated, educator, Lucky Murray here with another ECBL game review. We have our South Carolina Upstate Redhawks against the Augusta Eagles. They played last Sunday in Augusta, Georgia, and I got the game footage to break it down to you. Sorry, people, it took me a while to break it down, but you will not, you will not be disappointed. So, so let's get into the gameplay, and I'm gonna give you my final, final view of the game. Let's get into it. So Lewis for the Eagles driven the ball. He tries to pass it, stole by Robuck. Robuck takes it coast to coast for the Red Hawks, and it is good. So the Eagles got the ball now. So they pass the ball to number 34. Number 34 takes it in the post, and it is good. Sullivan gets the ball. Sullivan drives past the Blakely. is almost stolen, but Blakely finished with the layup, and it goes in. So now the Red Hawks pass to Sullivan. So Sullivan's driven the ball. So they play a little razzle-dazzle. They play a little Harlem Glow Trotter type passing. So pass to Rice. Pass to passes the ball and give us to Bagley. Bagley shakes and bakes and step drops. Look for the three, and it goes in. So the Eagles pass it to the post player. The post player sticks, moves, and it goes in. In Ellis size up the score. We leave the first quarter. Red Hawks 19, the Eagles 21. So now to start off the second quarter, it is assist to Blakely for three, and it is good. So now Blakely is setting him to offense. He passed to Bagley. Bagley drives to the lane, passes to Roebuck. Roebuck for the mid-range jumper and it goes in so now the Eagles gets the ball stolen and now Sullivan is dribbling the ball oh now stolen again the Eagles got it and a flush by number zero on the Augusta Eagles and so now Edmonds dribbling the ball he sizes his defender up 6'9 small forward out of New Jersey pops lock for the three it goes off and now the Red Hawks got the ball so Gage throws the alley-oop to Roebuck and it goes in so now the Eagles got the ball. They're dribbling the ball. So number zero goes in, misses, follow his shot again, misses, and the Eagles get it back. So as the story goes, the Red Hawk has 43. The Eagles have 59 in the second quarter. So start of the third quarter, we got King, number two, dribbles the ball with the James Harden Euro step, and it goes in. In so now Roebuck tries to post his man, kicks it out to Sullivan. Sullivan tries to lay it up, and it is blocked by Edwards. Edwards dribbled the ball number eight for the Eagles, dishes off and gets it back with the easy. So now Edmonds gets the ball. He takes the ball up the court, dishes off the number five, and it is an easy layup for the Eagles. So now the Red Hawks dribble the ball. So this is when they go and they run. So we see Thomas. Gets the ball, shoots it up, and the Red Hawks goes on a pretty good run as we see the Eagles with the post to Edmonds. Edmonds takes it in for the easy layup. It goes in. So we got Edmonds getting stripped by the Red Hawks. The Red Hawks, like I said, is going for a run as they give it off to Roebuck and their hype. They get the game so close, and it is another steal by the Red Hawks. The Red Hawks playing pretty good defense, and that is a setup three in the post. And they go on the run. They cut it down to almost two. But as you can see, the Eagles are not done. Number 34 gives them the dagger as the score in the fourth quarter. Red Hawks 83, Eagles 90. So now we go into the fourth quarter quarter and like i said this game is a runaway the eagles are now up by 15 but as we can see ellis is not done he gives Edmonds the one two the final score of the game the red hawks 116 to the augusta eagles 128 so, unfortunately we took the l against the augusta eagles the the score pretty much doesn't define the game. I'm watching the game, breaking it down, a few things that I noticed. The first quarter really done us in because we shot the three terribly. For what I, you know, tally up, and these are not un these are unofficial stats, but what I tally up watching the game was we made nine threes and we took 36 threes, which led us to a percentage rate of 26% from the three-point line. 
I don't think a team can win by just shooting 26% at the three-point line. The lowest percentage in the NBA is the Atlanta Hawks, and I think they have a 32% percent uh, from the three-point line. So that right there was not getting the job done. And also in the first half, we allowed too many offensive rebounds. It seemed like every time that the Eagles shot the ball, they was tapping it up to themselves and either taking a nice and putting it back up for a two or kicking it out for the three-point pointer. So you can see by going 0-8 in the first quarter of the game and also with the Eagles aggressive with the offensive rebound, it is no wonder that we was down by t by by so much in the second half but the game was only a two-point game in the first quarter i thought what really killed us was the run the eagles had in the second quarter and the fact that the eagles defense was just smothering they they got steals they got blocks they did they made us make terrible shots like I said if you're shooting 26% from the three-point line heck I will give you that much space to shoot as well and then it seemed like in the first half we did not know how to take what the defense gave us it was simply hey the shot clock was you know it seemed like we ran the ball up the court shot it up hope for the best but the third quarter that's when things changed we went on an actual run and had the game within two points within six minutes of the third quarter but number 34 from the eagles hit that that momentum killer and then it was downhill from there the fourth quarter it just seemed like the the lead balloon and pretty much that was the end of the of the day so the person that stood out to me the player of the game for this game was number eight kevin Edmonds. He is out of New Jersey. He plays for the Eagles and it seemed like he was just too much for us the other game Sunday. Uh, he dished it out. He blocked shots. He dunked. He facilitated the offense. It was so much we could not handle with that. And our three leading scorers, we, we had Thomas who had 18 points and he was 44% from the three-point line. We had King, who had 24 points. And he hit four of nine of three pointers, and he was also 40, 44% from the field as well. And we had Ellis, who had 21 points per game. So, it was. So like I said, uh, coming, we got a game Sunday against the Charlotte Tribe, and that's going to be at the uh, First Baptist Gym in Greenville. I think that we cannot, you cannot win shooting 26% from three. You can't win by not hustling to the ball, getting, letting them get 15 offensive rebounds. The leading team in the NBA of offensive rebounds is the Atlanta Hawks. <laughs> the Atlanta Hawks have 11 re offensive rebounds a game. They're not that great, but if you have that many second chance points and your defense is on point, you you would not win the game. So what I'm looking for as far as from the Hawks, the Red Hawks, I'm looking for one that they that they uh, just tone down the three point shooting. If it's not there, try to do or give. So here's one thing that I'm looking for as far as Sunday with the Red Hawks. Number one thing is that let's bring up our three-point percentage. If it's not there, take what the defense gives you. Do not force shots that are not there. Do not try to create when it's not there because even in the East Coast Basketball League, a lot of these guys have prior professional experience and if you try some of those things that you, that you think will happen, you might get your cookies taken. So two, somebody, when we need a bucket, to to lean on them and they lead us to the promised land now that third quarter run it was a collective effort but it wasn't really that person like you know what let me put the team on the back ellis had some big buckets thomas had some big buckets and we also had king had some big buckets those are our big three that led the team in scoring but when we was down by two i mean we was yeah we was down by two thomas thomas hit a big three but then when they came back with the big three it was like we didn't we didn't continue to, to add that pressure. Thomas had another three, 
later on in the quarter, but it was it was the score was already I think it was up down by six after that. So we just need that one person or at least two. Like you know what? Oh look at the scoreboard. We up. We down by six. Let me get a team basket. Let me go to the foul line. Let me make something happen for my team. And I think three defense man. Alfred is everything and it felt like to me that the Red Hawks on defense in the first half did not want to be there um, it, it just seemed like the offensive rebounds I, I, it, it's, it's crazy the tape doesn't lie when, when, when somebody taps the ball up there and then the guard gets the offensive rebound by running around our defense that, that, that is, can be very embarrassing and it's like look we are a much better team you know, even with all the things that went wrong with the game, we still had it within two in the third quarter, but just quite couldn't pull it out. So again, I'm, I would be at the game Sunday low with them. So I would have a, uh, you know, just a in-game experience to see in the game. So again, it's the entertaining, motivated, educated, lucky Murray for the ECBL season. So right now we are one and one. And Sunday, we're looking for our second win against the Charlotte Tribe. So, stay tuned for more information about the ECBL and also about the South Carolina Upstate Red Hawks. It's Lucky Murray, and I will see y'all later.